The search continues tonight for a Washington County woman who has been missing since Sunday. About 100 people fanned out across an expanded search area near North Plains, making their way through a private property in a heavily wooded area. But tonight, still no sign of Allison Watterson. Our Lindsay Nadrich is live at the command center for the search. And Lindsay, you've been there all day. Tell us what you can about the search efforts. The Washington County Sheriff's Office gave us an update within the last hour. They said now that it's getting dark, they have to call off the search for today and we'll be back out again tomorrow. They still haven't found Allison, but said searchers found clues today that will change how they search tomorrow. It's day three in the search for 20 year old Allison Watterson. She was last seen Sunday by her boyfriend, Benjamin Garland, who told deputies they'd been hiking near Old Pumpkin Ridge Road and somehow got separated. Deputies say Garland found a truck on someone's property and slept in it overnight Sunday. Then Monday, Allison was reported missing and the official search began Tuesday. Friends and family are desperate to find her. She's such a harmonizing person. I, um, I just, I can't say enough good things about her. She's beautiful inside and out. She's a very special person and I just, I will do anything to get her home, yeah. anything. 50 trained searchers along with 50 volunteers spread out to search the heavily wooded sections of the area while a National Guard helicopter and drones help search from the sky. Allison's one of my closest friends, so I got to find her. I made a promise to myself that I would find her today. Even people who don't know Allison came out to help. We just want to get Allison back to her mom. You know, it's the right thing. Um, you know, Christmas dinner, that's all I can really think about. You know, somebody's daughter's out there missing. It's that kind of help that means a lot to her family right now. Uh, we really appreciate all the, the support that we're getting from the community and from all the other resources. And we just really, really want to thank everyone. And we want this to keep going until we find Allison. Allison's boyfriend was not part of the search. Instead, he appeared in court this afternoon on charges unrelated to her disappearance. He was arrested on outstanding warrants for a case where he's charged with unlawful possession of meth and another case where he was convicted of several charges, including assault and unlawful use of a weapon. Tomorrow they plan to do a more focused search and because of that they said they no longer need volunteers to help and are only going to be using trained searchers. Again, that's because of something they found today, but they won't tell us what that is. Okay, thank you, Lindsay, for keeping us updated. A California family relieved tonight. Missing skier Ashley Gingrich has been found safe after losing her group at Mount Bachelor yesterday. The Deschutes County Sheriff's Office says around 340 Christmas Day, the 30 year old got off the sunrise lift, skied into some trees, crashed, then got lost. Ski patrol staff and search and rescue teams looked for her but had no luck. After spending the night on the mountain, Gingrich walked up to another ski lift this morning and got help from staff there. She was reportedly pretty cold and tired, but we're glad to report not hurt. Police say a man was shot on the freeway this morning by someone in another car. It happened on I-205 between Division Street and I-84. Police say someone in a car fired at another car that had three people inside. The man was the only one hit and he is expected to recover. Police are searching for the shooter. As we get closer to the new year, we are also getting ready to say hello to some new laws. Starting January 1st, you'll have to be at least 21 years old to buy tobacco or vaping products in Washington. Governor Jay Inslee signed the bill into law back in April. And this next part, especially important, so listen up. Anyone who is between the ages of 18 and 20 when the law goes into effect will not be grandfathered in. That means it'll once again be illegal for them to buy tobacco or vaping products. Oregon raised the age to buy tobacco to 21 last year. And if you've got a quick second, check your fridge. The hard boiled egg recall is expanding. It now includes products sold at Costco, Walmart, Kroger and Trader Joe's. Health officials say anything you find that's from Alamark Foods plant in Gainesville, Georgia, throw it out. Every product made there could be contaminated with listeria. The CDC is keeping tabs on the outbreak. So far, seven people in five states have reportedly gotten sick. You can also check the FDA's website for a full list of recalled products. 
The Pentagon is warning against the use of a really popular Christmas gift. Military members are being told not to take those at home DNA tests. The Pentagon says they are a security risk. Data collected could expose personal and genetic information, and if that gets into the wrong hands, the information could be used to track people. Even if a company thinks that it's only going to release the data when there's a subpoena, there's still the possibility that the database will be hacked, it'll be exposed, it'll be stolen. So it's never absolutely secure. The most popular home test kit companies say they or that the most popular of the home test kits somewhat include 23andMe, Ancestry.com, and these companies say they take security really seriously. Ancestry.com says it does not share DNA data with insurance companies or employers, while 23andMe says no information is shared without consent and that customers can choose to have their samples stored at their lab or destroyed. Before taking any of these tests, experts say read the fine print about how your DNA will be stored and shared shared. Just, it's just showing their love and showing their support for their children and their community. See this? This is, this is a village. And this village is, can build a city. Isn't that true? It is a simple way to show some love and strengthen the Woodlawn Elementary School community. Reporter Kristen Severance is spending the year telling stories from the school. It's a series we call Inside Woodlawn. We're revisiting some of our favorite stories so far, including the story of donuts with dad. You got everybody got everything? Where's your, you got your backpacks? All right. Ray Hale is walking his four kids to right. Woodlawn. We have Ray Jr., Ramaya, Raymere and Jackson. But this morning. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Is all about dad. We're going to the school, walking to the school. We're doing dads and donuts. So once a year, they have dads and donuts. As you can see, I'm a single dad of four. So I do everything. And like I say, I, I, it's gets important for me to show my kids that I love them and for my kids. It's one of the school's okay. most popular events. All right, so you guys gonna give me some donuts? All right, I'm looking forward to it. Hey, Mike, how you doing over there? Oh, I'm all right. All right. You ready for a donut? All right. Just a morning yeah, yeah, yeah. with morning. dad and a donut. Good morning. Or two. Good morning. That's what it's all about. See all these dads? That's what it's all about. Community. Hi, Owen. I'm glad you're here. Yep, here you go. You got it? Thank you so much. Thanks for having me. It feels great and exciting because then I get to hang out with my dad on uh, in in my school. Yeah. <laughs> Woodlawn's auditorium was packed with dads this, like Ray. It's just showing their love and showing their support for their children and their community. See this? This is this is a village, and this village is, can build a city. Moms. Everybody's welcome. Hi, Daniel. Yep, this is Bexley. Dads who've had this donut date for five years in a row. And it's a special time for us to connect. I've come every year since she was in kindergarten. Um, it's been really cool because I've seen the event kind of grow. Like, the line to get in has exponentially grown every year. Love you. Love you too. And grandparents. <laughs> Karen's grandfather came in from Seattle. Because she called me and asked me could I come to have a donut with her. She don't ask for too much, but something I can do. And I love doing things for her. Okay. I'm not. She's been special to me ever since she's been here. And things she do and ask for is not much. But anything I can do for her, make, make my day. Uh, love you. Love you too. Everybody needs a dad in their life, you know? And if that, I mean, it just, it just shows the love, you know? <laughs> it's all love. Love you. <laughs> what a touching story. I love it. You can see all of the Inside Woodlawn episodes and extras right now on our YouTube channel. You can also use the hashtag Inside Woodlawn on Twitter or Instagram.